Hey besties, so what I am doing today is going to be an infusible ink project, a tote bag. Um, so I just got these from Design Space. I didn't, you know, use anything special. Uh, the Cricut Cutie is in images. All you have to do is hit your image right here and go to Cutie. And you have all these options here to choose from. Um, the one that I used was this one right here and then this font that i used is called beefcakes it is an access font as well so everything that i used is already in design space very simple nothing special um so i pretty much what i do is just attach these two together and then i go here to make it and then i will mirror this is a huge step this is like using heat transfer vinyl you need to mirror or everything that you cut is going to be backwards so I will go ahead to continue and then once my screen comes up I will go to infusible ink transfers and that's it it's very simple uh, my infusible ink transfer option is right here and everything is standard fine point blade you do have to make sure that you have a pretty you know sticky mat and that way you know you don't have any issues with it lifting up off the mat or not cutting through or you know just all the issues that you may have if your mat is not sticky so that's pretty much it for that part very simple uh, you know it really just depends on the design you're going to do um, but what I'll do now is I will do my cutting and my pressing. So that's going to be the fun part of this. And most of the video is going to be that section. So all I'm doing here is I'm going to my Cricut heat guide so I can choose my material and I can choose my press. Um, so here I am going to use my Easy Press 2. I am going to use infusible ink. So I'm going to find that here. Transfer sheet. And then I am going to use a tote bag. Okay. And now I'm going to apply. So it's going to tell me to heat up my press to 385 for 40 seconds. I'm going to turn my press on, okay? I'm going to go to temperature and I'm going to go to 385. Okay? And I'm going to change the time to 40 seconds. Okay? And then I'm just going to let it heat up. I have my tote bag here and I'm going to get ready to weed my transfer sheet so here i have removed it off of my cricut and i'm going to go ahead and weed this now see how that kind of is about to rip so just make sure you pull up see and it'll just kind of pop my crevices. I am going to cut another piece of just the Cricut Cutie um, so I can do sort of a feel um, so he'll, you know, be a certain color. Okay, so now I am going to do one more cut of the inside of my Cutie. So I loaded my next color, um, which is going to actually be this color, like teal. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this now. I'm gonna do the color for the inside of the body. Um, so, you know, prior I had done just the outline. Okay, so now I wanna do the inside. So I'm gonna go here to contour and I am going to just click off of this. Cause I just want the arms, the body, and the face. 
I'm not going to do the eyes or anything like that. So what you can also do is just click off of the pieces that you don't want. I don't want these pieces. And I think that might be it. So let's see how that looks. Yeah, so I think that's about right of uh, the pieces that I want to cut. So I'm going to go ahead and press make it. And I will mirror this. And I'm going to continue. Okay, so now I'm going to pull back from my mat. And I always put my sheets back in the box um, just so they don't get exposure. So next what we're gonna do is the pressing the thumb part. So you do have to kind of make sure that you get this on, you know, correctly. Because once you press, there's really like no, no going back. Okay, I have my large mat here under. The other thing that I need to do is get a piece of white cardstock or any type of cardstock. I typically use white. I have my cardstock. I'm going to stick it here in between my bag. Okay, so here's my butcher paper that comes with my sheets i use these over and over again you don't have to throw them away after you use it the first time um, but basically you get two of these sheets in each box so i'm going to go ahead and start my countdown and press i do add a little pressure for the black sometimes i realize that it'll come out kind of light uh, depending on you know if you add pressure or not so I do add a little bit of pressure for my uh, dark color okay so now what I'm gonna do is pull this up some and see how it looks okay okay so that looks pretty good okay so now what I'm gonna do is add in my cutie I do is I'm gonna add my press on this side. I am adding a Teflon sheet just to cover my tote bag. And then I'm gonna try and get mainly only my cutie. I'm just gonna do that kind of at an angle. Okay, and then I'm gonna start my press again. and see what we got here. Okay, so it came out pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is add in my cutie. Oops, I don't need these eyes. Right here. There, did, there was some ink transfer on there. So I don't wanna use that anywhere on my bag because that will transfer on. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I am going to add a Teflon sheet over my bag. I'm gonna grab my press again. Okay, so let's see how this came out. See, so I missed a little piece down here on the foot.
So that's pretty good. So here's a close up of the material and fabric, just so you get an idea of how it's infused into the fabric. It's not like vinyl where, you know, there is a raised portion of it. It literally is infused into the fabric. So yeah, so that's Infusible Ink. If you guys have any questions about the product or any Cricut products, please let me know down below in the comments. I will see you guys on the next video, which will be very soon.